are you dating anyone? No, but I do have something to tell Vani. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. I was dating this girl, um, and she is seven months pregnant. Oh my God. How you doing? How you feeling? It's just like now I feel like the possibility of Cody not being the person that I was talking to is like setting in, you know? But I still want to know who it is I'm talking to, um, even if it's not him. So if this is not the real Cody, you're still willing to keep a relationship with this person? I mean, I'm not sure about a relationship just because making me believe that you're Cody, you know, for this long, that's a, a huge lie but I at least want to know what their intentions were. Like, what did they get out of this? But I, I feel like I should tell you guys something. Oh God. Earlier this year in January, um, I got married. Oh. Are you married? I'm currently married, but I'm in the process of getting a divorce. Um, it was super rushed. It was with somebody that I've only been dating for about four months. Okay. And does Cody know about all this? No. So Day. you, but you were talking to Cody very much while you had just been married and. Yeah. So right after I got married, I knew that I had made a mistake. Um, so now we're in the process of getting a divorce and we have been for since like March. So it wasn't that long. Like, Right when I started talking to Cody, I had already terminated my marriage. Like, he doesn't know, but like, he was there when I was just like going through that <laughs> And I wanted to tell him, but now I feel like I have no clue who this person is. But I can understand your, I don't know if it's guilt or, or concern about having not told Cody this. Yeah. Well, thank you for being honest with us about it. I get why that would be weighing on you, but at the same time, I don't think that it negates all the other things that this person hasn't been telling you potentially. So right. I just have a feeling that their secret is way bigger. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up? What's up, girl? Oh my God. How's it going? I don't know. We're, we, you tell us. We're, we're all very confused oh right now. <laughs> could you just, could you just give me a second here? I do have something I want to tell you. This past year, I was seeing somebody, and in January, he proposed to me. Whoa! And then we were married within like a week. Wait, what? And immediately, I regretted it. And we're getting a divorce already, but it happened. That's a that's a lot to take in, like, like all at once. Um, huh. Well, that it, it does hurt my feelings. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I wish you would have told me that. I understand why you wouldn't want to, but I wish you would have. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I have a second? Just like. Uh, process that in my in my brain. Sure. I uh, I'm not mad at you like at all. I, I understand. I've I've been a compulsive person myself in the past. Like I'm not judging. I'd like to believe I I know how your brain operates due to the the way we've talked. Yeah. And that sounds like something I could have totally done myself. So. I don't have the ability to judge you. What if Paula pops in here? What if it is Paula? Well, we're about to find out. Ah! <laughs> Hi, boo. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hello. I told y'all she was real. <laughs> I'm not Paula. You're not Paula. No. <laughs> okay, we're very confused. Can you, can, what do you, we, we got, help, please explain. My name's Nayani. I am the girl in the pictures. However, I am not Paula. I'm not the one who's been running the accounts. 
Paula actually reached out to me and told me you guys reached out to her and she got a little frantic. She asked if I would come and share the story as to how we all got here. And Wait, okay, so hold on. So after we spoke to Paula yesterday, she reached out to you. Did you had did you know that there was a fake account of you? Yes. Wait, what? And what is her name actually Paula? No. What is her name? What the hell is going on? Her name is Raven. Raven. Yes. And did you assume after that conversation that she would stop? Yeah. I really felt like that I got through to her that time. However, it's been seven years that this has been going on. Seven years? Yeah, since I was since I was 14, I'm 22 now. I, every time a, an account would come up, I, I found a method to contact Instagram and give them my ID and they would just take it down, but it would be down. And then obviously a new one would just pop right back up. All right, so wait a second. Okay, so look, she should be the one doing this, not you. Right. It's so unfair of her to not only do what she's been doing to you, but then to ask you to- Come to... forth and speak for her. Right. I want to see Raven. I'd be willing to reach out to her and see what she says. Call her, text her, whatever. Explain that we're eager to talk to her and give her an opportunity to, to sort of explain herself. And okay. and then you could send her the Zoom link. Okay. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. All right. Talk Thanks, later. Thanks, Naomi. We'll see we'll you see soon. Girl. What the hell is going on? I don't. I don't do this. So you really don't think Nayani is telling the truth? Why do you think that? But I just feel like this is it, how this was supposed to go. What do you mean this was not how it was supposed to go? I don't know what's happening right now. Are you Raven? Hi, yeah. Hi, Raven. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're all kind of just catching up and finding out a lot of new information and just want to give you a chance to kind of introduce yourself um, and then tell the story however you feel best reflects the truth. Okay, my name is Raven. Um, I'm from Seattle, which is how I originally came across Neani's pictures. There was multiple accounts, a lot of them got deleted. The most people that I've talked to like on the accounts would be Paula. And how many people were you talking to? I was talking to a lot of people, like 800 people all together. What? I'm kind of confused right now because, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Go ahead, if you have something you want to say, Elliot. Well, I just wanted to talk to y'all too, without her present. This girl is sitting here continuing to lie. Everything I've told you guys is the truth about me and Paula's relationship. We've never FaceTimed. We have been talking for that period of time. Everything is real. But the reason why I'm so blown out of the water and confused, the reason I did believe Paula was the girl in the pictures is because Paula, she hit me up. She still had me convinced she was a real person. She was like, let's get on this TV show. What? It was gonna be like a, I see you, you see me, it's a happy ending type of episode. Whoa. That's why it's weird now and it's scared me. Raven, in a unbelievably selfish and also additionally like deceptive move. Twisted. Convince you to write in and tricks you into coming on the show by telling you that it was just really her and that you guys were gonna have a happy ending. Yeah. So she came up with this whole plan and you said yes because you thought it was really just Paula, but actually the girl in the pictures was Nayani. The thing that obviously bothers me is we take this job very seriously. We're trying to help people and it's just not okay what you did either, Aaliyah. I mean, it's messed up on your end that you lie to us not giving us all the information to help you, it's pretty messed up. Well, I do want to apologize though. When the plan was told to me, it was something super simple, quick, and it wasn't really a lie on my end. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Because she was Paula. Like she was still acting like Paula this whole she, time with me. She catfished you. She played you out. That's what she did. Yeah. Is this him? 
Who else would be here hiding in the shade of a tree? Your mat? Yep. Max. What's up, Neve? Thanks for coming out. So, um, I do have a few questions. <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, you got a girlfriend? No. Why no pictures of you? Why won't you send me any? I don't like being in front of the camera. <laughs> okay, but for five years, you've been talking to this girl. How do you not send her a little video just so she knows it's you or something? You are who you said you were. You weren't lying about any of that. So then what's the holdup? I'm a secretive person for the most part. So do you still not like children? I mean, iffy. Why? Um, well, I haven't really been exactly honest. Um, I actually have an almost two-year-old daughter. Huh? I have a child. And you, you decided now to tell me? Yes. I mean, like, I get that I was lying, but can you really blame me? Like, you told me to begin with, like, you don't like children. Oh, my goodness. Which leads me to my next question. Would you like to be her godfather? Hold up. I've oh, never even support. met her. I'm just now finding out about her. A child. OK, now my anxiety's through the roof. She didn't meet you when you came to visit because? I bailed because I went into labor. <sighs> uh -oh. like wait, it. someone's coming. Uh -oh. Wait. <laughs> Is that, is that her? Is that, wait a second. <laughs> it's her. I don't believe it. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hey, uh, what? Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Hi. I'm Max. Hey. This is Lawrence. Hey. Hey, Lawrence. How you doing? Hey. What? Is there anyone else showing up here, too, or is it just you? This is me. So what, you guys were texting? Yeah. And you got a new number? Yeah. OK. Hi, Matt. Was it just you this whole time talking to Lawrence? <laughs> yes. Clifton? Clifton, oh. that's my friend. But why does he texting with Clifton's yeah. phone number? Because I was using Clifton's phone to text him because my phone is broke. But Clifton <laughs> is your friend. Yeah. And you actually have been texting from his phone. Yes. Because you know we found a few Facebook pages for you. Are well, those why two? do you have two? I have two Facebook accounts. Right. You do. One is old, and then I have a new one. I do hair. So one was more for my professional. Is, is there anything that we don't know? Um, that maybe you're married or you have kids or I don't. <laughs> I don't have kids. Okay, I'm no not married. Kids. Here's the big question. Were you corresponding with Lawrence during a traumatic time in his life? Yes. It's her. All it's right. been her the whole All time. Right. It's you, it's you, it's you. You were right. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a lovely young lady. We're done. All right, you guys. Yeah. Enjoy you guys, yourself. We don't, we don't have anything. Uh, we vetted, oh. we vetted this. Lawrence, can you talk? <laughs> can you have anything to say? I, I think I can say. Catfish got your tongue? <laughs> it's all you, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. I think one of, one yeah. of you or would be interested in trying to meet up again sometime soon? I would definitely I'll be interested. OK, yeah. great. All right, if you guys don't see each other, Uncle Neve and Uncle Max are going to be really They're going to be bummed. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's in your hands. I mean, you needed us to bring you together. Yeah. You shouldn't need us to keep you together. Yeah, definitely. I can tell Sierra doesn't mess around. It's not Sierra I'm worried about. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, I'm over this lunch. You didn't like it? No. You don't like anything. You are picky. Sorry, guys. That's Sorry. good. No, it's good. This corn, terrible. Could have had nothing. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps, oh. what the heck? Is that Clifton? 
No, it ain't close. Oh, you gotta get that? Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. excuse me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's Is he acting weird? I mean, I don't know. I don't. It just wasn't that what I would think. Are what we? Would you, are we? What do you think? No. Uh, what would you think? I would think he would be more so interested in me because I was interested in him. You feel like he's not showing the end? I mean, it's just a little, oh. I don't know. A little weird. Yeah, kind of. Mystery call. Ugh. Are you good? Yeah. Are we, are we being, like, a little annoying? No. It's a, nah. Uh, well, what's up? Are you, are you feeling it? Uh, it's not. It's a little situation. Basically, I'm engaged. Come on. Yeah. What the f are you talking about? Yeah. It's... Could you not tell us? Wait, so you have a girlfriend? Fiance, yeah. Uh, yeah. Legit fiance? Yeah. Well, how long have you been engaged? Not too long. Like a couple months. And you bought a ring and everything? Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? I, I thought it was like, like meeting her, but like change, I don't know. The way like, the way I feel like I would just be feeling her, but like, I can't, like, I'm actually like, I guess in love with my fiance. That's a meeting, so Sierra, saying. only confirmed for you oh, yeah. that you really want this yeah. other girl. Yeah. She needs to know what's up, because she, she thinks you're acting kind of cold, and that you're not into her, which isn't really what's going yeah. on here. All right, I mean, it still can, I don't know. No, work out in no. different ways. Like, no. she's still going to be Don't like. Don't try and. Not like that, but no. like. Yeah. You can't, you <laughs> up. As not fun and uncomfortable as it is going to be, I think you got to just be straight up. <laughs> Jeez, man. You ready? <laughs> oh, gee. I think, Max, we should let them chat okay. for a minute. Let's give them some room. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Great, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so here's what's going on and why he's acting weird. Lawrence is engaged. What? Like, How did you not tell us about this until now? I don't know. How you feeling? You good? I'm fine. I'm oh, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna get serious right now. I was waiting for that. Yeah. All right, so, basically, like, <laughs> Can you talk? <laughs> nah, I can't. It's stuck. Uh... Don't be stuck. All right. You ready? You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So don't be mad at me or nothing like that. Basically, like, I'm technically, like, engaged or whatever. Okay. That's it. What's, what was the point? So I can like meet you and like, I guess like see like what I wanted or whatever like. So yeah. Okay, so now that you met me, Ow. why do you have to see me to my face, sit down, eat lunch? I didn't know how I would feel until I'm here and it's like seeing you physically is just different. So. But you didn't talk to me. When we was alone, you didn't, you weren't saying nothing. I said, what's up? I can understand there's nerves or whatever. Okay, but I don't see the point. For you to come all the way out here to see me, making me think, you're pretty, I'm coming to see you, I want to see if you're real or not. What was the point of that? For you to tell me you have a fiance? He sure knows how to take his time. Oh. Hey, who? Who is this? I'm Keandre. Keandre? So you're Andrew? Yes. Well, hello. Vani, do you know who this person is? No. Keandre, do you know Vani? No. OK. We have a lot of questions, but I don't want to get in the way of you guys, or, or in, in this case, you, Keandre. I don't know if you want to say something to kind of get things going here, but obviously you have some explaining to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it started off as um, a 
a scheme. Um, scheme? Yeah. Like, I've been catfishing for um, about two, about a year and a half, two years. Um, I have a female profile, which is Venus. You Venus too? Yeah, I am Venus. I've been doing this for a year and a half. So yes, I've been, I scam people. Um, COVID was going on when I started to make the page and it went off from there and I just started scamming people. I didn't have no money. Um, I had no income, no nothing. So I had to make a quick way to get money and that's how I, that's how I decided to do it. So you let me on for six months. Talk about the, you talk about living together. Was that real or? When I started, it was to get money out of him but it ended up turning into something different and it just went too far. Everything was real. I just wasn't the first day in the pictures, obviously. But I mean, I was just hoping that you was like, okay, well, you do what you do. That's not on me. We gonna rock out. We gonna get to know each other, but whatever you do, that's on you. I'm a provider, so I'm gonna be a provider. Now, if y'all wanna be honest, I'm in love with Bonnie. I love him and I want to be with him. I want to pursue a future with him. But like I said, it's money. Y'all gotta understand that. I, I I never I don't I don't care what nobody say. Making this amount of money got me from where I was living at in the hood. I don't have nobody at home. I can't ask nobody for nothing. I can't do none of that. So with me doing that, that's me providing for me. If you if you can't deal with that, I'm sorry. Just tonight. And what about your life in Pontiac. I mean, are are you dating anyone? No, but I do have something to tell Vani. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. I was dating this girl, um, and she is seven months pregnant. So, so you was willing to still have a relationship with me, though you got all this going on? And are you planning on being an active Parent? Of course. I want full custody. That's what I'm going for. You talk about scamming and doing all that. But you get locked up because it is. Who can watch the baby? Whatever I have to to support my daughter, that's it. When that baby comes, I'm gonna be a provider. It's a pretty major detail that you left out of your very loving communications with Bonnie where you talked about having him move to Michigan and you know quit his job and you guys could do something together. 